Hello. Fuck my fucking face off. This bitch looks like she's just finished plastering her fucking bits all over Snapchat. Do you like that? I, I use the term that the kids are using. Snapchat. I know things. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat my nuts. What the fuck is that face, cunt? Oh, right. That's the face I make, too. Okay, let's begin this video. Why not? You're only fucking seven seconds into it. Hello, everyone. Hey, how you doing? Bitch. Um, I just realized that this is the first time that you actually hear me talk on this channel, so, you know, welcome to my voice. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a mime. N no, no, she's not. Uh, it, this bird is actually a singer. She's not too bad. Maybe she should stick with singing. Just a tip. Talking voice. <laughs> um, today, I don't know, I, today I wanted to talk about something that is really, that I'm really passionate about and that I think is really important. Money. Money? Is it money? It's gotta be money. That's really important. Oh, poverty. Poverty. Poverty is very important as well. Child abuse? Maybe? No? Okay, what is it? You go. No, 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 you, you go. And I actually tried to make this video once, but girl, that was too messy. What's so messy about it? Hmm. All right, take two. Here we go. Go. This is take two. I said that already. Bitch, fucking hell, just get on with it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about kind of my experience with feminism. Ding, 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 ding. She said the fucking magic word, didn't she? Holy shit. And how I, what my perception of feminism is, because I think that it's really important to have a lot of insights to that subject. Why? Shouldn't feminism be the meaning of feminism? It's been in my experience that whenever I watch a video on feminism on YouTube, I am hit with a dictionary definition. Why aren't we doing that? Why now? Why now? Is it a feeling? It's a thought. It's a thought. I, th I feel feminism today. I feel very feminism today. Oh, oh, I need to wipe twice because I've got a little bit of extra feminism running down my leg. So I'm gonna tell two little stories and then I'm gonna continue on that. What the fuck was that sound? This and then I'm gonna this and then I'm gonna either her belly or it's her fucking asshole. So the first one is that for the past four months or something, I've had a little crush, like not a, not really a little crush, a little big crush on someone, and I'm not really in love with him anymore because you know it didn't work out. He doesn't like me. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> uh, no, sorry, you go on, you go. <laughs> so, you know, that's that. But yeah, I had a little crush on him. And I started to realize that... He didn't like you, because you look mannish. Everything I did, everything I wore, the way I acted, it was all out of interest for him. Yeah, that's how sexuality works. That's how we procreate. Either a man gets all dolled up for a bird, or a chick gets all dolled up for a dude. It's the way we fuck. But you're not gonna tell me this, aren't you? No, you're gonna say, I'm my own woman, uh-huh, oh no you didn't. Ah, uh, you ain't all that in a bag of chips, yo boy. I was so consumed with him, and I started apologizing to him for things that I shouldn't even be apologizing for Fuck, that would be annoying. You would be so fucking annoying. Wonder why he doesn't like you. You are an annoying cunt. Is that a bit mean? It's not mean. Look at her, she looks like a fucking annoying cunt. Stop being annoying, cunt. Fuck. I kind of hurt his feelings once, I, I guess, but it wasn't even really that bad. I slept with his brother? Wasn't that bad? Did it twice? Second time was even better. I got his baby now. Um, and I started apologizing for it while I should not have apologized. Cause his brother had the biggest dick in the world. Twice the size of his. 
And my friends started being like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It was a really intense experience and I've never felt like that before. Oh, she's, she's had special feelings in the down below area. Oh, bitch got crazy over dick. That's not a new fucking thing. Bitches be crazy over dick all day. All, all day. <clears throat> all... Ah, oh, fucking... God damn it. Not that in love or something, because I, I have been much more in love than I was with this guy. But just the feeling of, I need to do everything just so that he would- He never liked me at all, because I'm a fucking yeti. Yeah, you're a yeti. Like me. And now I think, wow, it's like so stupid that I try to change myself and I try to change the way I acted because a lot of people said, like, you're kind of intimidating. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you are not. <laughs> oh, is she serious? <sighs> because you're super wild and crazy and stuff and I was like oh my god maybe I am intimidating maybe I I seem like a lot of work to a lot of people while I'm not I'm just a girl and I'm just I just want a bit of love and that's literally it I'm 16 years old literally it it's literally it I'm 16 years old literally it I'm literally it 16 16 years old S 16 years old literally it Literally. That's literally it. 16. I'm 16 years old. Literally it. Fuck it up. I just want a boyfriend, you know? People think that I'm really intimidating and so I was like, okay, okay I'm just gonna change myself. So People don't think someone's intimidating. Someone can be intimidated by, but you wouldn't describe somebody as intimidating. For example, yo, I don't want to go over to that chick. She intimidates me. Not, yo, you be so intimidating. Oh my god, girl, I wanna fuck you. I wanna get the intimidating all out of you. Yeah, I was just turning into this person who was kind of like shy and stupid around this guy. And well, it's not really only around the world, if you know what I'm saying. Got it on YouTube as well, you silly cunt. That made me wonder if I did that, then probably a lot of women did that just to please the men in their lives yeah that's the way it works there's generally one person in a relationship that tries a little bit harder than the other that's just the way a fucking life is what you need is some guy that you can just 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 snip the nutsack off and uh place into your 16 year old vagina vagina Vahina? Is that how you pronounce it? Vahina? Is it Vahina? Or Vahina? Vahina. Vagina? Vagina? That doesn't sound right at all. You've got one. Prove it. Holy sh... And that is really sad. And I'm sure that a lot of women have, have gone through stuff like that. While I don't think men really change themselves, they're like, I take me for what I am. That's just the dude you know, bitch. When the fuck are we gonna get to the point here? Take me for what I am. That's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, great. Wasted three minutes of my fucking life. Move along, cunt. Move along. Hurry the fuck up. Got places to go, people to bang. Secondly, I have a second story. This will all lead up to the- This will all lead up to the point that I'm a fucking retard. Point of this video. We were on a school trip. Long story short, I'm gonna tell you the whole fucking story. And I was- we were all in the- in the tube. Cause we were going to London, it was really fun. And I was saying some stupid shit as I usually do. And some guy who's in my class, class <laughs> said that um, he thinks I'm really manly. No. No, you are very, very fucking manly. Like, you're that manly. Kind of have an urge to punch you in the face. Not that I'm going to fucking hell. Jesus Christ. And I asked him, like, why? Like, I obviously have boobs and stuff, so like, why Why would you think I'm manly? Like, would it be because of my dick? Like, I was kind of interested. And he was like, well, yeah, I think you're really bossy and dominant. And at first I was hurt. I was like, what? Do you think I'm bossy? What? Do you think I'm manly? What? Yeah, that sounds about right. And then some fucker told you, 
You don't have to stand for that, girl. You can be your own woman. Or she's watched a YouTube video on it. I, I, I think she has watched a couple of Sarah Silverman videos. Show. Sure. But then I was like, so in order to be manly, you should be bossy and a dominant and women shouldn't be that at all. What? In order to be manly, you should be bossy. Fuck, I'm a man. Ish. I don't boss shit around. Fuck. Your first reaction to him calling you manly and bossy was that, oh, men are bossy. Oh, okay. They can't be taken on two fucking separate accounts. You are bossy. Probably true. Look at that fucking face. You are manly. Also true. I refer to my first example. Can't. You know, the fact that those characteristics are associated with being a man, that is really stupid to me because- No, those characteristics are associated to being you. That's what you're not fucking seeing here. A lot of women can be so much more of, of a leader than, than men. I'm just kind of a person who likes to take the lead and likes to have some action. Oh, oh, <laughs> she's a slut. She likes it, don't you? You like it. Mm. She likes it. Yo. Hey, you like it? Mm. Yeah, you, you want that, huh? Okay, I can admit I'm kind of bossy sometimes. Fucking hell! You've just admitted that you're fucking bossy. And you look manly. So what the fuck is your problem? But that doesn't mean I'm manly. I'm a girl. I'm a, an actually a proud girl. I have the lady parts. I call bullshit. So, you know, that was just really stupid to me. And I was like talking to other people and asking like, do you think I'm manly? Do I, do I seem manly to you? And I predict everyone said yes. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Man, I'll never make it through a full video. Fuck a duck. Anyway, I want to say thank you to everyone that has recently subscribed. Fucking A. That's really good. I'm glad people like what I'm doing. And you know what? I'm not going to fucking change. All right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> <sighs> but they were, they were, they were, they were, they were having, <laughs> having said that, there probably will be a few changes. Uh, my upload schedule may uh, increase. Normally my upload schedule is roughly around one to two to three videos a day. Uh, judging by the amount of viewers, I will probably do more than that. Or probably a lot less. What I'm saying here is I, I don't know what I'm doing. Please call somebody. I am in desperate need of help. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, just so I know you've made it this far, why don't you write something really fucking wacky down below in the comments section? And that'll tell me that you've watched this video all the way to the end. I'll see you later. Kanichi! See you all later! Nya, nya, nya.